We've got some new stuff, man. We've got some new stuff. I have some old stuff. It's a remix. You know how corny I probably look when I do these things? Hey, what's good, guys? My name's Chris. Welcome to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got a detailed look on these bad boys right here. This, my friends, is the Puma Mirage Mox. I think I'm saying it right. I really hope. How else could you say it? Mox? M-O-X? It's gotta be Mox. But this is actually a remix of an original classic, which I think is really cool. So the original Mirage was from the 70s. It was an original running sneaker, performance runner, and now they have remixed it. And this just, to me, further emphasizes my original thoughts. I normally do Puma's hoop shoes, the Puma Hoops line of their stuff, but this just further emphasizes how good they are at doing callbacks to their heritage, man, but coming up with sh just looks dope. The Jordan brand people, I don't like throwing them under the bus, but like they've strayed away from the days of the Spiz Ike, the Dub Zero, and the Six Rings. Like the stuff nowadays when they're like throwing little things in the shoes and stuff, it just doesn't look right. The Mars don't look right. I know people like those and I'm glad that you do, but they don't look right. Looks like a cartoon. These are cool. These were sent to me by Puma, so big thank you to Puma. They also sent one of the very first signature shoes of all time. Let's basketball shoes. I always wanted a pair of those in high school, mm -hmm. but when we were in high school, flare jeans were the yeah, thing they don't for... work. They don't work with those. And I'm a short person, so I already had a problem with my jeans dragging, and so it was just never gonna work with that. By the time I was in high school, this was the b-boy slash break dance shoe. People used to take these laces out and put in those fat laces. They used to do that with these and the shell toes. And uh, yeah, the Puma suede, this one is actually recrafted. So these are closer to the originals than ever before. Uh, this is the Clyde shoe. His shoe actually would have the Clyde signature on them. So these are just called the suede vintage, but it's essentially the same sneaker. It was one of the original signature shoes, if not the first signature basketball shoe. People used to hoop in this shoe. I know, they look like they look Converse. Like how People did they all do it? I know, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> But back to these guys right here, this is just a really cool revamped look on an original classic. I think that the way that they've done this is really dope. They actually came with this little card right here and it tells you very loosely about the shoe, even though I don't think that it tells you the right things about the shoe, which is again, this is an original model from the 70s, remixed for today. I don't give two sh about DJs and electronic music. Oops, 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 oops. That is exactly what I did in my head right now. <laughs> there was no way in hell I was gonna do it out, <laughs> let it come out. So thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. So the outsole on these guys, is very reminiscent of the original. It's a nice little thick slab of rubber right there. No, well, I mean, there's flex screws, but there's no breaks in it. You know what I mean? Like it's just one solid piece of rubber. Uh, you can see how thick it is and everything. So nice durability there. The midsole itself is EVA. They've added things to it that were not on the original. I think that it gives it a little bit more pizzazz. I guess, you know what I mean? I just think that the little boxy things are pretty cool. Little Adidas NMD-ish. Is that a little friendly competition thing? Cause you know, they started together, but they're not anymore. All I know is that I like the way that it looks. I also like the way that it feels. Most of the comfort though is coming from the insole. They don't have the, the cool Puma insoles that I really like, those polyurethane feeling ones. This is just an open celled foam, a very thin one at that. So it looks like ortholite and everything, but it gets the job done as far as stepping comfort. And then the rest of the shoe feels very much like a basic runner. You know what I mean? Like anything from that eighties era, even though these are from the seventies, but in my mind, eighties, like Reebok classics and stuff, or even like Adidas continental eighties, anything like that, that's kind of what these feel like. So I would describe that as neutral. Yeah, there's no cushion as far as like a bouncy springy feel or a mushy feel. It's just very just basic, which I appreciate. I like that. The older that you get, sometimes you just need basic. Now the materials are really where things start to shine because everything on here, not everything, but almost everything feels very premium, very much in line with, you know, the Puma style and everything because they don't really cheap out on materials, which is real interesting because their prices are not that high, yet they're able to do this stuff with like nice quality and stuff. I wonder like why other brands can't do that. I don't know. So the base layer is a textile. It's very much like the original Mirage shoe. And then all of the overlays, also very much like the original Mirage, are premium feeling materials. So we've got suede and we've got leathers on there. We've got some extra that are really nice, like the little grid things in the back. I just think that that looks cool. One of my favorite features is kind of stupid, but I just really like this tongue patch. It looks cool. It's just a piece of clear rubber that says Puma, but I don't know why, I just like that. They also mess with the lacing system a little bit. The original Mirage is just very standard, just eyelets. This one, they added things to it. They not only put a little Puma lace du brave, which is a little weird because the Puma logo is just a weird swoop and it doesn't look as cool as... They should have put their Puma cat there. Exactly, you know what I mean? Like it just doesn't look as cool 
was the cat. If anything, I would have just transferred the Puma lettering down there too. The swoop just doesn't do it for me, man. It's just kind of like a panel piece. But I like the little nylon straps and all of that. You got those right there at the midfoot. And I just think it looks really neat, man. I kind of like the little tweaks that they've done to it. Now, as far as their fit is concerned, they do fit true to size. So that's what I would recommend. Anybody that is a wide footer, I would still go true to size because the materials will break in. They will. And you know this. I do. When you have a shoe that's made like this with that soft underlay and then those really nice raw material overlays, they're going to break in. Just give it a little bit of time. Something that I really like though, I thought was interesting was all of their choice of stitching. Not only do we have all these layers, but some of the stitching is single stitch, some of it's double stitch, but then on the toe, they did the and zigzag thing plus a double stitch it looks sick they did it on the back too you can't really see it because it's suede but the toe cap man you can see that and also the cuts where it's almost like enveloped it's not so tight to where it doesn't have like a, a flap to it just really interesting touches man i really dig this so first things first do you like these i like the original model better like really? i think if you hadn't shown me that i would have been like oh yeah these are cute but i liked the more i don't know this has a lot extra it does it's, it's definitely a remix version which is funny because i like this one a little bit more. I thought the other ones were a little bland. I think that they spice these up just enough. Mm. So I think that's pretty cool though that you got the varying opinions and stuff. So yeah, if you don't like it quite as punched up as this, the original Mirage is available like everywhere. You can get them on like Zappos. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's not an expensive shoe. You can still get that 70s vibe to them and everything without having to break the bank. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't always have to be Nike everything. You can get heritage from all these brands. They've been around longer than Nike, believe it or not. If it wasn't for these, Adidas, New Balance, there would be no Nike. So pay some respect, man. Put some respect on his name. You know, is that how they say it? Or <laughs> the, the internet. Isn't it isn't it Birdman or whatever? Put some respect on my name. I don't know. You don't know that? Who's Birdman? He's from he's a rapper. It doesn't even matter. Everybody's gonna be like, she doesn't know Birdman? You uncultured swine. Yeah, I didn't know who J. Cole was. I didn't know who Big Pun was, but I did know who Big Pun was. I just didn't know his name. The big pun one shocked me. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows I'm not a player, but I crush a lot. Everybody knows that. Anyways. But we do have some business to attend to. It is uh, day what? Six. Okay, day, <laughs> day six of 12 days of Christmas. Yeah, so we're at like the halfway mark. That's a lot of shoes. I know. And this one's extra special because Phenom oh, yeah. joined up with us yeah. for this giveaway. Our local uh, kind of like mom and pop or a boutique around here in the Sacramento slash Elk Grove area. They are Phenom. We get a lot of our stuff from there. Shop local when you can. It doesn't have to be with Phenom. So wherever you are, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Support your local mom and pop shops. They're the ones that support the communities, not the big corporations, the big box stores and stuff those places are cool but support where the community's at you yeah. know what i'm saying and also this is a cool pickup because uh i didn't even think these were going to drop here in the states so i thought it was dope that they did oh it was like an overseas thing mm -hmm. shout out to all of our filipino followers man whether you're from the philippines or not doesn't matter but this is the uh, lebron 17 low in the titan colorway titan i visited yeah and they were super hospitable when i went there i went there to go to the manila sneaker expo i don't know if i was the first sneaker youtuber to do it or not or whatever but i didn't tell titan because i didn't know anybody over there that i was going over there the hotel I was at was literally down the street from Titan so I was like walking around and I was like "Ooh, a shoe store and so I walked in and it was like one of the coolest shoe stores I've ever been in because the first half is a barber shop oh so they like cut you up all night it's super dope man like talk about culture they really have put in that culture that started here in the U.S. with like black culture and everything and they really do it up over there and it's awesome and then the other half of the store is the sneaker shop and there's just all kinds of stuff man and when I walked in there they acted like I was like somebody they were like oh sh Nightwing's here like and I was like you guys know me you know what I mean and it was like so wild I had to take pictures of people and I came back the next day to do like an interview with them because they also run Slam Philippines so like Slam is big here in the states but it's also again basketball is huge over there so they got their own version of the mag and it was dope man it was a really cool experience so not only do all of the Filipino followers just like I really like everybody and appreciate them but Manila's got a special place in my heart because it was like my first out of the U.S. experience yeah that was a big you know? trip anyways Back to the giveaway. I'm sorry about that, but these are going to... Jelly 21. Yeah, and I hope that you like them. Good luck getting your foot in here. That was hard. Yeah, if you want to hear all about it, check out the review. Tight like the first time. <laughs> Shut that's up. A, that, that's what it... <laughs> so, yeah, anyways. <clears throat> With that being said... Let me gather, regather myself. Take it away. <sighs> 
So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed these. Thank you so much for watching this video on these guys right here. Again, the Puma Mirage Mox, a remixed version of an original classic. And with that being said, happy holidays. Hope it's tight like the first time. And I'll see you next time. Peace. You're welcome. You're so gross. <laughs>